يا ندى هو كده ده كده انا اعتقد باسورد مناسب صح؟ اه يا مستر ده افضل من الارقام من قصدي من الحروف قصدي الو سامعني يا شباب؟ اه يا مستر اه يا مستر بقول لحضرتك ده افضل من الحروف الو اه يا مستر سامعنا؟ الو مستر مستر احنا سامعينك انت سامعنا؟ طب اشرح لي صدري يس اللي يعمل لي احلى غداه من لساني يفقه قولي Okay, let's complete our lessons. We start by the halogenation. In the halogenation again, when I start break this bond, the compound, in this case, it changes C double bond C and H, H, single electron, single electrons. These single electrons are attached with the bromine then attaching with the bromine, giving one or two dipromo, ethene. Ethene, why? Because we're having a double bond. Then, when we're adding the excess bromine, we're breaking this bond, giving the compound like the shape. C, single bond, C, single electron, single electrons, bromine, bromine, H, and H, attaching with the new bromine, new bromine, giving to us one, one, two, two, tetra, promo, ethane. Now we are going to talk about the halogenation. We're adding the halogen acids. Okay, addition of the halogen acid, like the hydrogen bromide. This is slide number four, I'm saying. Addition. of halogen acids. Like hydrogen bromide, HBr. The addition else is taking the two steps. C, triple bond C, H, H. Addition of the hydrogen bromide. It giving to us, breaking the bi bond. C, double bond C, H, H, 1 BR, and 1 H. When you're adding excess hydrogen bromide, C, double bond C, H, 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 and BR. As we said before, we have a rule, it's called the Markinokov rule. The Markinokov rule, when we add symmetrical reagent like halogen acid, this is symmetrical since it's contained positive and negative, symmetrical. To any reagent or a symmetrical reagent, the hydrogen atom tend to attaching to the carbon atom, which more in the hydrogen. So at the two sides of the bi bond, we will find this carbon attaching with the two hydrogen, but this carbon is attaching only with one hydrogen. So this hydrogen preferred to attaching with the carbon atoms that have more hydrogen. So it giving to us C, C, Br, Br, H, and triple H. So it giving to us one comma one di bromo miss S. Ethene or ethane. Okay, let's go into the another addition reaction. It's called the dehydrogenation. Hydrogenation.
Is this slide number five? C, treble bond C, H, H. Adding the hydrogen S, hydrogen gas. This addition reactions in the presence of catalyzed. It is a catalyzed reactions in the presence of nickel or platinum. From 150 to 300 degrees Celsius. So it will giving to us C double bond C, H, 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 H. It's called ethine, ethene. Then ethene. Adding excess hydrogen in the presence of nickel or platinum, 150 to 300 degrees Celsius, giving to us C, single bond C, then 3H, this is called ethene. Now, we are going to talk about what is the effect of the heating or the burning with the presence of oxygen. Burning. The C2H2 may be burned in three oxygen atom. It's called the limited amount, limited amount of oxygen may be in excess amount of oxygen. In the limited amount it giving to us carbon dioxide gas, water vapor, and the carbon, flame of carbon. Maybe one of you attended sometimes when your dad go to the welding process for the, the car exhausts or the catalytic converter of the car. This is the car. And we will find the catalytic converter of the end of the car it's get rid of the car exhaust. The catalytic converter is welding by the oxyacetylene flame. In the starting of the welding process, you will find that the worker have a cylinder. This cylinder will find that the tape uh, I'm thinking there is an, a one, it is a, open the microphone. You can close the microphone. The another microphone, it can be closed. Okay, thank you. You will find the hoses of the welding tape are connected with the two tube. This tube, it contain oxygen. And another tube contain ethane. The flame that's out in the start will find that fumes, black fumes. Black fumes out in the start, since we will find the burning taking place in incomplete oxygen, three oxygen atom. But when the, he starts to modify the process, We'll find the flame it turn to the blue color and it's giving to us carbon dioxide gas, water vapor, and 3000 degrees Celsius is called oxyacetylene flame. The balance in each case is we'll find the two carbon atom. This is two carbon atom for the ethane. And what is the starting the balancing for the, in this case, 
we in each case we're taking the two molecule from the ethyne or acetylene that produce with the three oxygen atom two water molecule and the two carbon dioxide gas and the two carbon but in the five oxygen atoms giving to us four co2 and the two molecule of the water and the oxygen stream flame 3000 degrees Celsius. okay now we're going to talk about what is the effect of catalytic hydrations if catalytic hydration taking place for the design i'm thinking it is the last thing in our lecture today inshallah The last reaction is called catalytic hydration. Catalytic hydration, when we're bringing, I'll bring C2H2, then adding the water over it. But if this process taking place in the presence of the catalyst with the sulfuric acid. This is catalyst called the mercury sulfate. And the sulfuric acid, H2SO4, 40% concentration. And the reaction taking place at 60 degrees Celsius. What's happened? We'll find in this case, CH3, CHO are formed. This is called ethanol. or acetaldehyde, CH3, C double bond O, H. Type. What is about the mechanism of this reaction? Let's go to talk about the mechanism of this reaction. The mechanism of this reaction, so we have in the C, this is slide number six, I'm saying, C triple bond C, H, H. When we add water molecule, the water, it will be H and OH. What's happened? We'll find the C, the triple bond are broken. It will be C double bond C, H, H. And we'll find OH and H. In this case, we'll find an instability taking place. So we'll find this bond are moved towards this bond. And this hydrogen atom are moved towards this carbon. Firstly, this compound is called the vinyl. Vinyl. alcohol as i said before vinyl it means that double bond of the c one of its h's are removed in this position if we put chlorine so it's called vinyl bromide if we put bromine vinyl bromide if we put alcohol it's called the vinyl alcohol okay the modification taking place for this compound giving to us C H3 and C double bond O H. This is called ethanol or acetaldehyde. Okay. okay, this is a modification taking place. I'm said I'm talking about the reaction mechanism. Firstly, when we'll find this is called vinyl alcohol. Vinyl alcohol, it's unstable compound. Why? Because we'll find the hydroxyl group and we have a double bond. The modification taking place in the shape of the bond for this compound make this is double bond are broken and modified to be between the carbon and the oxygen. The oxygen atom lose this hydrogen toward the 
CH2, it will be CH3. So it will be CH3. Then C attaching directly with the oxygen and this with the H is giving the functional group of the aldehyde. Functional group of the BEE aldehyde. So uh, now what's happened to aldehyde? CH3, CHO. If we reduce that by the hydrogen reduction, the reduction process for ethanol or acetaldehyde is giving to us CH3, CH2, OH. It giving to us ethyl alcohol. We are going to talk about this by the details when we're talking about the alcohol. But I'm saying it is the, the end of the, the first learning outcome of learning outcome 10. Inshallah, next session, inshallah, we are going to making the revision. Then after the revision, we will start after the midterm exam, inshallah, in the last uh, learning outcome for the our semester, inshallah. Now I'm having a surprise to all of you. We will stop recording, then I'm giving to you the surprise.